The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 8th of November, and one day before our late Tom O'Brien's birthday. May he rest in peace. We miss him dearly. Dow's at 165 with this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. 43,898, all time high. Is this a brand new leg A or a, a leg F? So far, it has all the all the ingredients of a leg A. Brand new move, gap to the upside. S and P, same thing. S and P spirals up at an all time high right now, up 17 at 59.90. QQQ, index 100. 513.80, uh, fractionally off the all-time high, but it looks like it wants to do that. And only a leg C in the weekly. That's still very positive. Let's go to the IWM. IWM had a little weakness uh, early on. Now it's up $1.08 at 237.39. Uh, uh, leg D in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly. It looks like it wants to get to the 244.46 all-time high. Let's go to gold. Gold is down 7 at 26.98, just consolidating at a big a big pullback. It's in the range that says between 27.50 and 26.30. That's where it should be. If it goes under that, that's going to be a problem short term. The dollar, dollar right now is up 33 ticks at 104.66. Let's go to bonds. That's really important. Bonds are up uh, almost a point at 118. The low that was made three sessions ago is going to be very important. I'll talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time. Let's go to crude oil. And crude oil right now is trading down sharply, down $1.66 at 70.70. I spoke about this 200-period moving average at 72.90 and how it's been such a repellent zone for, for the uh, crude oil, and it remains that. Just as we go off before the commercial comes on, uh, the VIX is down at 14.74, and remember I said that peak D, that very sharp peak D, I'm going to treat that as a Chapman Wave top at the 20, uh, 23 area, and here we are at 14.74. Wow, that is quite a pullback. I'll be back in a few minutes. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and I've got a webinar coming up this Thursday. Uh, sectors and stocks for the next market phase, and we've already begun that, so if you get my newsletter, you're already starting to get those positions. I'll be back in a few minutes.